welcome to the Great Switcheroo Part 4. I'm so happy you guys are here. Thank you so much for joining us. This is going to be so much fun. We have been counting down the days. Uh, could not wait to get started. So I am kicking things off with the first video and followed by me will be Tammy Anderson and then B.R. Turner and then followed by Massey Art Studio. So I'm excited. This is going to be fun. Now, what I'm doing here today is I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas, one of my small canvases. This is so teeny tiny compared to what I'm used to. I am using my Dutch pour paints. Why? Because I'm doing a Dutch pour. However, I am then going to use marbles, um, probably this big one here. I'm going to use the marble and I am going to marble it. So we will see how that turns out. Now, this whole marble thing has been, you know, doing pretty well. And a lot of people have been doing this whole marble technique. And that is something that uh, B.R. Turner um, was doing. So I was like, all right, well, this should be interesting. But I didn't want to do the puddle pours and then run my marble through it. I wanted to do a Dutch pour and run my marble through it. So I want to see what that's gonna end up like. So I've done the ring pour and the rec ring pour for the other um, collaborations for the switcheroo, but I have yet to do a Dutch pour and wreck a Dutch pour. So I might be a little disappointed to wreck it if it turns out really nice, but we shall see. So I am just flooding my canvas with my Artist Loft flow acrylic white that is mixed with flow trial and water and I'm just getting all my sides covered up here and this is going to be a quick video because they have to be for the great switcheroo because we've got Tammy coming up in 15 minutes so I'm a last minute person as usual I it is Saturday night here and uh you guys are watching this the next day. I don't prep or prepare these things <laughs> in advance. I definitely don't do that. So I'm a last minute type of gal to the point where I just realized I don't even have my torch. <laughs> All right. It's been a busy weekend. We finally got grass down in the backyard. So been busy doing that all weekend or my husband. All right, so quick colors I'm using tonight, trying something different. We've got Iridescent Blue Black by Pebeo. Then we have um, Rose Gold by Deco Art. And then I'm going back to the Mauve by Holbein. Then we have 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. And topping it off, we have Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. I didn't put very much thought into these color choices. I literally just grabbed them off my shelf and I said, yeah, I'm going to do these. So I figured it doesn't matter because I'm going to run a, a marble through it anyway. So we shall see how it's going to turn out. Now, the question is, I never really thought about a composition on this. So I think I'm going to, I never did think about a composition on this. I, again, it's not going to really matter once I put uh, my marble through it. There's a doggy hair there. All right, let's do the rose gold. I'm really liking the rose gold. And so a lot of you were talking about my last video and how you guys like the voiceover, but you prefer to hear me talk and hear my story time and all that. I'm not keen on the voiceovers myself, but when I do little tester videos like that, they might just be voiceovers just because it's easier but I'm really glad you guys enjoyed it. All right, super quick Dutch pour here. Let's pop the bubbles. Let's blow it out. All right. Now, 
Now, I think there is a lot of white, not I think, I know, there's a lot of white paint on the base. A lot of white paint. However, these colors are really pretty and I'm so sad that I'm actually gonna ruin this right now. The colors are super pretty. All right, now I contemplated, do I do a big marble or a little marble? And I'm gonna do the big one because I don't know if the little one's actually going to um, maneuver through here. I don't wanna ruin this. All right, whatever, let's just, it is what it is. Ah, I can't believe I did that. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, let's uh, swirl this. Ooh, look at the marble, it looks so pretty. Looks like a gumball, makes you want to eat it. It's like those games you used to play with the little silver ball. Wow, okay, well this is different. Definitely different. Say bye-bye Dutch pour composition. <laughs> All right. Wow. That is interesting, but the marble looks so cool. What? This is actually pretty neat. Huh. You can almost kind of make a composition here that you want. Look at that. I think I'm going to go to the corner here and knock them off. Oh, I didn't go down here though. I think I went everywhere but down here really. How interesting is that? As my marble rolls away. Yeah, I didn't really do the marble a lot down here. Maybe I should put it back in. Let's put it back and do some down here. Let's do that. Cause I didn't do much down here. Cause it's still my Dutch pour composition. Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right. Get out of my way. Well, that was better, although I made a little bit of a mess down here. I'll fix that after. Oh, wow. Look at the stripe from the marble. Huh. Look at that. All right. Um, well. That's um, interesting. I am going to just fix up my sides real quick and I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up. Be right back. All right, so I was looking at it some more and I'm actually gonna roll my marble through it a little bit more. So as I was you know, looking at my sides, I thought, you know what? Let's just make this thing roll a lot and you know, get into these negative spaces here and see if I can get some color going on down here and just swirl it around. So I figured, you know what? Let's just keep going. Let's have some more fun. Why not? Whoa, look at these little circles here. Yeah, I may have ruined it a little. <laughs> Yeah, what? Look at this, I'm good with this marble. Now I'm just screwing around. <laughs> there, how's that? Is that better? <laughs> I should have just left it. Well, I guess I'm not gonna win the guys versus gals on this one. All right, I'll bring you guys down for a close up. All right, so here's my hot mess. <laughs> You know, I think I'm going to stick to Dutch pours because that's just what I love. And, you know, I'm sure some of you might like this and others are might are probably thinking, wow, Canela, that is um, just so not you. Um, like, I mean, I really like this part. This part's really cool. And then the swirls over here are pretty cool, too. Like, that's all right. And then down here, maybe I should have done it a little more, but... I don't know. This just isn't my thing. But this is the fun thing about the switcheroos. 
you do something that you're not really used to doing and you just do something completely different that is completely out of your comfort zone. So that is the fun thing about these. Um, but anywho, that is what it looks like. So let me know what you think about this in the comments below. I don't think this is going to survive. It might get Mr. Scrapey and might get scraped off. So I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Although by the time you see this and make the comments, I will have decided already if it's going to get scraped or not. But anywho, it is what it is. So thank you for watching. So now you're going to head on over to Tammy Anderson's channel and we are going to watch and see what Tammy is up to. Um, so thank you guys for joining us for this great switcheroo. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.